What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. Today, we have an omnibus, absolute, and manga haul. Before we jump into these books thoroughly, we're going to talk about them, do some aerial shots. I want you guys to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and hit the like. And if you're looking to purchase any of these omnis, absolutes, or other collected editions, check out the sponsor of this video, CheapGraphicNovels.com. Cheap Graphic Novels has collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. They package immaculately so that your books arrive in Gem Mint condition. They they also have a bargain bin where you can get books up to 90% off. If you guys use the code GEMMINT at checkout, you will get free shipping on your second order. So go ahead and uh, plug your boy GEMMINT and check out CheapGraphicNovels.com. Alright guys, so as you can see, we have volumes 13 through 40 of Berserk. I love Berserk, man. So I first heard of the franchise from Prime 1 Studio statues. I was like, what are these incredibly huge and gory and dope looking statues? And then Dark Horse started publishing these deluxe editions. I picked up volume one based on recommendations and I absolutely loved it. As of this recording, there are four deluxe editions and they each contain three volumes. So after reading the fourth deluxe edition with Fee, uh, we decided that we couldn't wait anymore and just wait for volumes five, six, seven, up to like what, 13 they're gonna have to do to catch up to the story. So we ended up buying, like I said, volumes 30, uh, 13 through 40. I recently just finished reading all of these. Man, absolutely love this. Just kind of sucks that now we're going to have to wait for each volume to come out. Well, I don't know when volume 41 is supposed to come out. We know Kentaro Amora, he tends to take a long time between volumes. But uh, let's just kind of look over some of these issues of Berserk. All right, guys. So if any of you are extra perceptive, you'll notice volume 29 is not in the mix. That's because that's the volume that Fee is on. After she's done reading it, we'll probably do a review of the whole series up to date, up until volume 40, and continue to review the deluxe editions. Now, man, this is a non-stop, action-packed storyline. I love the characters, even the new characters that show up. It almost feels like you're reading like a, an RPG. It almost feels like you know, you're reading a Final Fantasy story. Man, the last two volumes, though, we finally kind of get uh, some answers on a certain character that we want to see redeemed, I guess you could say, or maybe that's not the right word. But anyway, the art gets incredibly better. Uh, they start including these little posters about, I don't know, maybe halfway through the series or so. These double-sided posters. Kind of thinking about taking them all out and, um, you know, doing some kind of collage or something. Uh, I also thought it was really odd how Prime One Studio made the Beast of Casca's Dream statue, and that's only in the last two volumes. So it's kind of interesting how you know they had a lot of characters and material they could have jumped into, but they went ahead and um, made that. So you do read these from right to left. It is black and white, and you kind of just go backwards from like a regular comic. But um, artwork is incredible. It's crazy how it's the same guy who uh, who writes it and draws it. This guy Kento uh, Kentaro Mura. But it's an awesome story. I highly recommend it. You guys know I've been hyping this up, and uh, now I feel feel good that I'm finally caught up. All right, next up we have the Absolute Edition for Day Tripper. It's published by DC Black Label, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say this was a Vertigo title. This book I'm not really familiar with, and I have heard mixed reviews on it. Personally, I figure if they went out of their way to publish an Absolute Edition, it's got to be worth it. It's only 10 issues, so I definitely want to go ahead and just flip through this and give it a good read. It's by Fabio Moon and Gabriel Ba. So let's take a look at the Absolute Day Tripper. All right, so here's a good look at the front and back of the slip case for absolute day tripper this has a 100 dollars cover price on it the construction of it kind of reminds me of the why the last man absolute editions so you have that same type of feel of the actual hardcover and then the pages have this kind of like construction paper feel not really like a high gloss paper so you can see you have a ribbon here for your um for your bookmark. I flipped through it. I don't know, it's kind of got like um kind of like a watercolor look to it. I have no idea what this is about, man. It looks like it's very story driven. It doesn't look like it's got a lot of action to it. So, I don't know. 
have to check it out. All right, the last one, we have the Robin Bronze Age Omnibus. This contains a lot of Batman family storylines uh, during the 70s, right? Uh, late 60s to early 80s. So you have Batman 192, and then you have a couple more issues uh, ranging from 202 to all the way up to like 339, 343. So you have a lot going on in between there. And then you have Detective Comics 390 up to 495, Batman Family 1. Uh, through 20 and it skips issues in between so you just have a little variety of uh, Robin stories here you do have the covers on the back which is cool and DC has kind of stuck with this theme for their Bronze Age book so these all kind of are matching now when it, when it comes to Joker, Doom Patrol and House of Secrets so uh, let's take a look at the Robin Omnibus and we've got Robin he's got Batgirl holding up the mouth of this beast or this dinosaur he's rolling in on the Robin cycle so this is the Bronze Age stuff, late 60s to early 80s. Here's the back where you have the covers of the issues. It looks like it's just some of the covers, though. And then here's all the issues that it contains. Because it's only the Robin stuff, right? So if, if the issues didn't have him in there, it's not reprinted here. $125 cover price on this book. DC has been staying consistent with the hard covers to have this kind of uh, plain black look with just embossed uh, graphics and and logos they've been uh, actually doing these big spreads on the back so here's Robin on a motorcycle there's the inside so you got your table of contents and here we go I'm a big fan of Bronze Age artwork uh, still kind of text heavy right there as you can see but I like that flat kind of look you know, right after this era uh, to the um, to the Copper Age is actually my favorite, but I still do enjoy the Bronze Age stuff. So Robin gets his first Omni. Besides, I don't know if you want to call Grayson a Robin Omnibus, but your classic Dick Grayson as Robin. Probably the most recognizable sidekick in comics. There you go. All right, guys. So that's the haul for today. Uh, super stoked about getting those Berserk mangas. I'm not sure if we're going to go ahead and keep those or do a giveaway for them and you know, continue to collect the uh, deluxe editions. I definitely have my eye on the Helsing deluxe editions that are coming out. But uh, let me know what you guys thought about the haul in the comments down below. Remember to check out Cheap Graphic Novels if you guys are looking to purchase any of these types of books. And you know, use Gem Mint uh, in the memo at the checkout so that your second order gets free shipping. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, hit the like, and stay minty fresh.